Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create a project in code build that will automatically apply our Terraform script anytime we make a commit into our GitHub repository. Before we create our build project, the first thing I want you to do is any changes you have made in your project file, make sure you push the latest updates to your GitHub repository. So if you have any changes in here that you have not pushed to your GitHub repository, make sure you push it. Once you have pushed the changes into your GitHub repository, let's go to the AWS Management Console. In the AWS Management Console, type code build in the search box. Then select code build under services. Then click create build project. Give the project a name. For best practice, it is always good to match your project name with the name of the repository that your script is in. So I'll go back to my GitHub repository. My script is in the launch EC2 instance repository. I'll select it. And here I'm just going to copy the name of the repository. You don't have to copy this one, just the name of the repository here. Copy it, then come back to code build, paste it in here. Then we are going to enter a dash and enter build at the end. The reason why it is a good practice to match your project name with your repository is because when you have a lot of build project in code build, you'll be able to identify the repository for each project. Once you've entered the name, we are going to give it a description. I will enter build project to apply Terraform script. Once you've given your project a description, scroll down. On that source, this is where we select the repository that our script is in. Our script is in GitHub, so we will select this drop down and choose GitHub. Then we will choose connect with a GitHub personal access token. Once you select it, it is going to ask you to paste your personal access token in here. So I'm going to open my notepad. I'll select my personal access token, copy it and I'll paste it in here. Once you paste it, click Save Token. Then it is going to authenticate with your GitHub account. To see it, you are going to choose Repository in my GitHub account. Select it. Then if you select this drop down, you will see all the repositories in your GitHub account. The repository we want to use for our build project is the Launch EC2 Instance Repository. If you are using a different repository for this project, make sure you select the right repository. Once you have choose the repository, scroll down. Under additional configuration, we don't need to select anything in here, so we will leave all these options as default. Scroll down. Under primary source webhook events, we are going to check this box, and this is going to rebuild our code anytime we push a changes into our GitHub repository. So once you've selected it, leave it on single build and scroll down. Under event type, we will select this drop down and we are going to choose push. And we're also going to choose pull request merge. So this means that anytime we merge a pull request into our repository or we push our update into the repository, it is going to rebuild our project. Select these two options and click out. Then scroll down. Under environment image, we will choose an image that is managed by AWS code build. Then under operating system, select this drop down. We will select Amazon Linux 2. Then scroll down. Then under image, select this drop down and select whatever the latest version is here. The latest version at the time of this recording is version 4. Select that one. Then scroll down. Under new service role, we will use this name as default or you can change it. Then under additional configuration, select this drop down and scroll down. We will leave all this option as default. The VPC option you see here is if your code build project will create a resource in a VPC. But in our case, we have specified the VPC in our Terraform template. So we don't need to specify a VPC here. 
scroll down. Under environment variables, this is where we will enter the values of the environment variables we specified in our shell script file. So let me go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, select your CICD folder and select the file configure name profile.sh. The first environment variable we have here is our access key ID. So what I want you to do is select it and copy it. Then go back to code build and paste it in here. Then click add environment variable again. Then go back to Visual Studio Code. The second environment variable we have is secret access key. Select it and copy it. Then go back to code build, paste it in here. We will enter the values of this environment variable shortly. Also, another thing I want to mention is when you copy your environment variable, don't add the dollar sign next to it. Just copy the name. Then let's go back to Visual Studio Code again. The third environment variable is the AWS region. Select it and copy it. Then in code build, click add environment variable and paste it in there. The last environment variable we will add is our profile. So I'll go back to Visual Studio Code again. Then select profile name. Copy it. Go back to code build. Click add environment variable and paste it in there. Once you have added all your environment variables here, under values, this is where you will enter the actual values. The first thing is our AWS access key ID. Remember when we create our IAM user, I told you to save the CSV file on your computer and the CSV file contains your user's access key ID and secret access key. What I want you to do now is open that CSV file. Once you open the CSV file, I'm going to maximize this so you can see it. The first option I have here is the value of my user's access key ID. Select it and right click to copy. Once you have copied your user's access key ID, come back to code build and paste it under AWS access key ID. Paste it there. Make sure you are pasting the value under the right environment variable. Then the next one we are going to paste the value is the user's secret access key. So in your Excel file, select the value of the secret access key. Right click to copy, then come back to code build and paste it in there. This is the user's AWS secret access key. The next option is region, and this is the region where you want to deploy your Terraform project. To show you this value, go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, select your ec2.tf file or whatever file has your provider block. Once you've selected the file that has your provider block, here the region where we want to create our Terraform project is US East 1. So I'll copy this and I'll go back to Code Build and paste it here. Then for the profile name, let's go back to Visual Studio Code again. The profile name I am using to authenticate my Terraform is Terraform user. So I'll copy this. And I'm going to go back to code build and paste it in here. This is how you specify your environment variable. This is the variable we will use to configure our profile on the container. So that way Terraform can use it to authenticate with our AWS environment. Once you've entered your environment variable, scroll down. We will leave all these other options as default. Under build spec, this is where you specify where your build spec is located and the name of your build spec. Let's go back to Visual Studio Code. In our case, our build spec file is not located in our project folder. It is located in the CI CD folder. So we have to tell code build where our build spec is located. Remember, our build spec is located in the CI CD folder and the name we gave it is buildspec.yml so under this section buildspec name we are going to enter cicd forward slash buildspec.yml when you enter the name here make sure you spell it correctly how you typed it in visual studio code then scroll down 
we will leave all these other options as default scroll all the way down and click create build project and there you go it is now creating our build project and we'll give it some time to finish creating it there you go we have successfully created the build project this is the name of the build project and here you can see some option for the build project on that configuration you will see the current configuration of your build project our source provider is github and this is our primary repository where our script is located scroll down on that build history tab any build that you run will show up here on that build details you will see all the details of your build project here if there is any option you want to modify you can come here to modify them so all the options we select you can modify them in the future by coming to this tab and click edit to modify whatever you want to modify under build triggers this is where you see some information but since we haven't run our build there isn't any information here and here you have the metrics that shows you the metrics of your build we also don't have any information here because we have not started the build so i'm going to go back to the build history before i start this build when we click start build what will happen is code build is going to clone our repository where the script is located remember our script is located in here code build is going to clone this repository on the container then it is going to use our build spec file to run all the commands we have specified on it remember that this build project we are creating will apply our terraform script and create any resources we have specified on it in our aws environment in the example that i'm using in this project my terraform script will create an ec2 instance and install the techmax website on it so basically what i'm trying to say is when we click start project code build is going to apply our terraform script and create our ec2 instance and install the website on it just to show you what i mean i'm going to right click on the aws logo and select open link in new tab i'm going to go to that tab then i'll type ec2 in the search box and select ec2 under services you can see in my EC2 console, I don't have any EC2 instance running. So when I click start build and my build is successful, I should have an EC2 instance in here and I should be able to access the website that I installed on the EC2 instance. So let's click start build now. I'm going to click start build. And there you go. We have started the build. You will see that the status is in progress. We are going to scroll down here. Under build logs, you will see all the logs so what will happen is the same output you will see in the management console when you ssh into your ec2 instance and run your command on that build logs it is also going to show you those outputs in here so right now it is installing the container and doing all the things it needs to do before it starts running the command on our build spec we will give it some time to install the container if you also want to see that information you can click face details tab here and it is going to show you that information here you can see it is provisioning the container now once it is done provisioning the container it will run all the command in your build spec file i'm going to go back to the build logs once it has launched the container you will see the output here i'll give it some time And there you go you can see the outputs now you can see that it has cloned the repository from my github repository on that download source that is where it clones your repository from github you can see here in my install phase it is installing python then if i scroll down here it is running my command it has changed directory into the ci cd folder this is everything we specified in our build spec then here you can see it has run the command to make the shell script file executable then here it is running the install terraform.sh shell script if i scroll down 
you can see the output when you run those commands. These are the same thing you will see in the management console if you run that command when you SSH into your EC2 instance. So I'll scroll down. These are all the outputs. You can see here it is configuring a name profile. Here you can see my access key ID. It has printed out. Secret access key, it has printed out. So that command ran successfully. Here it is running the apply terraform.sh shell script. The first command we have in that shell script is terraform init. So you can see now that it is initializing with terraform. If we scroll down, here it is running the terraform apply. Remember when you run terraform apply, it shows you the plan. You can see all the plans here. Then if I keep scrolling down, here you can see it is creating the resources in my AWS account. And here it says everything is successful. And down here it says apply complete. And it has created four resources in my AWS account. If you also look at the status of the build, it says the build state is succeeded. Also for the post build, it says it is succeeded. So we did everything correctly. If you also scroll back all the way up, to know that your build is succeeded, you will see under status, it says succeeded. So what I want to show you is, the EC2 instance will launch. This is the public IPv4 address of that instance. We specify this on our Terraform file. So what I'm saying is if we copy this and I'm going to open a new tab and paste it in there, press enter and there you go. We can access our website and we deployed this website by using code build to apply our Terraform script. Also now, if I go to the EC2 management console and I click refresh here, you can see that I have my EC2 instance running. This is the EC2 instance that my Terraform script created. Let's go back to code build. In code build, this is all I want to show you for now. You can review your build details here by just going through the console output and just make sure you understand what is going on. Another thing I want to show you is right now we are in the specific build. If you want to go back to your project, click launch EC2 instance build. And that will bring you back here. This is the first build we did and it is successful. You can see on that build number, it says one. So any build you keep running will show up here as number two, three, four, and so on. Also, another thing I want you to understand is you can use this build project to apply any Terraform script. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.